Hey, Dr. Stoll here for Doc Sports and back with another free football pick. First to admit, hey, always the first to let you know when I win. I'm going to let you also be the no, let you know when I lose. In this case, a free pick yesterday, yikes. Not even close, okay? Uh, the over-under on the game was 72 and it ended up at 100, what, 110? Or I think 110 or 111. I mean, not even close. But hey, you know what? That's sports betting for you. It's going to happen. And so it did. So I missed on the free pick. Still, 107 winners in the last 147 days. We'll take it. Okay. And we'll try and get you another one here in just a second. Hey, I got a big package going on. I mentioned this yesterday, but I got football picks galore. Nine of them, in fact. Uh, Saturday through Monday. I got a seven-unit best bet on Saturday, a six-unit best bet on Sunday, and a five-unit best bet on Monday. You can get the whole package for just $99 at Doc Sports right now. Okay, take advantage of it. Recently, 12 and 6 in the NFL, 66.6%, .6 up $2,890 of profit based on units. And started the week, as I mentioned, also with Coastal Carolina, an outright upset winner on Wednesday. Let's see if we can continue to crush the books and make you some money. All right, so check all that out at Doc Upstone's page at Doc Sports. Okay, today's free play. North Carolina is going to be playing at Florida State, and the, uh, the Tar Heel, they showed their offensive prowess last week. Boy, was, that, was it ever on full display, right? 56 points altogether against the Hokies. They ran roughshod, too, over the, the Hokies defenders. They had 399 yards rushing. Yeah, 399. Plus, then they added additional 257 passing. Now, Florida State comes into this one. They made a quarterback change. They went to Jordan Travis to run their offense, and they and he actually looked pretty good for most of the game against Notre Dame. His team put up 26 points. Now, the Knolls covered the spread in, in that game at South Bend against the Fighting Irish, but the defense, they conceded 554 yards. And let's be honest, if you watch the game, Notre Dame could have easily covered the spread. Okay, it was 20 and a half. They won, I think, by 16. They In the second half, they certainly could have. And even early in the fourth quarter, they could have scored another touchdown. They just didn't. Okay, so it wasn't, wasn't the uh, best case scenario there for that. I think it's going to be unlikely that Florida State is going to be able to contain North Carolina's offense. Sam Howell, excellent looking quarterback, looks like a pro, ready to go, uh, and has some excellent pass catchers as well. So I think that offense will hum. And then you got Michael Carter and Javante Williams in uh, running the ball. And against that Florida State defense, this these guys average 6.3 yards per attempt. <laughs> They do that, they're going to score a lot of times again, okay? They're going to go up and down the field. Uh, Florida State, I don't think they're going to be able to slow the run. I'm not sure they're going to do great against the pass. And speaking of the pass, they're 1-8 and eight against the spread against teams that are averaging 250 or more yards per game passing. In this one, we got a line at 13.5, so that's under two touchdowns. Great number. I think that's, that's an excellent value play right there on North Carolina. Minus 13 and a half against Florida State. Cool. So there's today's free play. As I, uh, one last time, let you know, nine pack going for uh, football this weekend, uh, college and pro, okay, and a number of big plays. So we're going to try and cash once again. So this is Doug Upstore for Doc Sports. I'll be back this weekend still with an NFL play, and we'll see what we can do there. Okay, until then, this is Doug Upstore for Doc Sports. I'm out.